Hey all, first off, I want to thank Terry uh, for the great videos on the uh, on the machine, the shocks, and then uh, on the back, the box and stuff for the uh, for our Talon. It does really good work, um, but like he said, it's uh, his preferences, and so I wanted to add and show you some uh, a, a few things that I did a little differently. Um, just to augment, it's me, my uh, my anal. Um, tendencies in some things when I'm building something. Uh, but just show you a couple of things that I did different, okay? So first off, as we come up to the, um, in the back, I did the same things Terry did here, certainly on the tie downs, but I'll include a picture on it. On the bottom, so I don't like the box being able to move at all. <laughs> it just drives me nuts if it's gonna slide around. Um, and so I did a, cushioning on the bottom so it keeps that from moving and then like terry i had a bunch of that's what i used on the bottom but i also had a bunch of stuff laying around so i used instead of a foam i used a rubber i, I was doing some projects around the house i had like three different kinds of uh of this of foam or cushion stuff for the bottom and so i uh i did this and then I did it along here. So when this closes, it all seals up. I did find another cooler. Um, I found, I ordered the one Terry did. I'm probably gonna return it from uh, on Amazon, but I got this Ozark uh, Trails. It's, it's also a 24 uh, uh, um, can cooler. What I liked about it, I found this at Walmart. It's like same price, like 16, 17 bucks. Is on the inside here, this also has a hard case. Okay, so you could put, uh, I use, I also use the ice packs that you freeze, um, but this, it doesn't crush, crush in around it, uh, which I kind of liked, and it has a hard shell inside, and then on the top half of it, in between there, Nat, you can toss sandwiches in here, this pushes down some, but I can toss sandwiches in there to keep them, you know, even in the plastic bag, sometimes they sit in the cooler, they get, eh. and so um, it actually has like two zippers. Uh, the other piece I did was I I took the tractor supply piece that was on there off, flipped it over. My wife is big into the vinyl stuff. And so I made my own little sign. You can you know, may not be able to read it. The way it is, it's done that way on purpose. As you can read, if you know, if you can read this, roll me over. Um, which will clearly be because I would be upside down, which I have done before. And uh and so if, you, if, if somebody in your family is into that, the cricket, the vinyl, my wife is big time into it. Um, I just took it, reversed it over so the, their stuff, the tractor supply one doesn't show through. And then she made, uh, um, she made that for me. Uh, the other piece that I did was, I was talking about doing a uh, piece for my chainsaw. When I put this box in, my chainsaw would not go in here. Uh, the handle's just a little bit big to make it fit and so i i actually did a i ordered these i think it was three quarter inch um hdpe whatever the and then uh what i did was i took and i have a bunch of different brackets around because i've had multiple machines in the past so i took the the uh um, clamps and you know I just went to tractor supply bought some hardware put these put them through there got this all to the angle I wanted it at drilled the holes um, and then in the top what I did this isn't pretty so sorry about that but it suits my purpose what I just did was I took my router I had laid my blade my saw on, on these before I put them together drew it out and then I routered out each half of this. So my saw blade goes down in. And then on the bottom, I also, I don't know if you can see it, I routered a spot all the way out to the bottom. So if it gets water down in there, the water will just run right out. And then lastly, I, I did buy one of these little inserts from, uh, I think Lowe's. And that's a furniture piece. It's in the specialty piece, uh, section for nuts and bolts. And what you'll see is, and I apologize for the moving around here, but if I just 
when I take and slide the saw down in there, I already have one of the things drilled in there and screwed in there. And so I might put one. And so what you'll see here is I, sorry, my camera got interrupted. I might put one on both sides because I'm not sure if I want this on the outside. If it comes loose, I want it falling on the inside. And I could just tighten that up though. Um, and it will uh, keep the saw from uh, from pulling out. So I'm uh, gonna tighten up just a little bit more. There you go. And and that'll keep the saw from being able to pop out. And and I have a cover for this. Um, it was a whole bag that this Greenworks one goes in. I found it on Amazon, a different brand, a bag, and. I was originally gonna do it when I had the unit here, but all I'm gonna do now is cut where the saw blade would go through out. My wife is sewing it right now. And then so the bag cover can still go over here, zipper it, it's like a vinyl type of bag, so it won't, uh, so this stuff won't get wet. And as you can see when I drive it, I really would have probably liked it maybe at a little bit more of an angle but that would have been probably just a little bit more difficult. Um, and so that's it. Um, those are the modifications I did for this trip. The other thing I might do is I kicked around getting a waterproof duffel for the top, putting a couple of the eyelets or even um, cabinet handles, put them on here, and then I could just run the straps over so when I open this, the whole duffel bag will go over the waterproof duffel bag because I, I do like to carry a bunch of clothes, um, shirts, and sometimes I'll toss my jacket in there because I have the full enclosure and a heater. And it, uh, um, I like take, taking my jacket off and I toss it in there even when it's cold outside because it's not cold in the cab. So thanks for watching.